Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary, and in today's video, I'm gonna build myself a custom chalk bowl. I've been using a coffee can, but here it is. Or no, that's not even it. Yes, I've been using this trusty coffee can from Costco. Works great, but I always kind of wanted my own chalk bowl for the gym. I never really wanted to spend the money to get uh, like a big stand or anything. So I'm gonna show you uh, what idea I came up with. I was looking for a, a nice gold metallic bowl, but I ended up finding this bowl. Actually, my wife found it at the dollar store. I kind of really like the shape. It's shallow, it's got a big opening, and it's, it's metal, which I wanted. It was $4 at the dollar store. Why is it $4? Should be called a dollars store. And then my next idea was just one of those tall lamps uh, uh, so I started looking for a used one of those for like 10 bucks or whatever. But then my wife was throwing away an old Kirk rod. So I got the pedestal for it now for free. So $4 for the bowl, free this, free is good. Now all I needed was something for it to sit on and to keep it stable. What I came up with was this plate. This is an old Canadiana five pound plate. They don't make these anymore. I don't think anyways, I've never seen them before and I thought it was kind of neat. It's only a one inch hole so I figured I'd find some washers and some hardware and I could use this as the base. So let's go ahead and put this together. Last thing before I put it together well, is I want to decide on my height. I want it down so that when I'm standing up I can reach in, use my chalk. So about this high would be good. Alright, so let's go cut these to length. Nice and smooth. We're gonna put uh, the bottom plate on. Bolt on the bottom. Washer on top. Whoop. And I'm just gonna try to get this threaded in. There, that was easy. There. Tighten it up. Nice and tight. So it's holding the five pound plate. So now I got my base. Now it's rocking for, back and forth a little bit. What I'm gonna do for the rocking is just little uh, furniture felt pads. So I'm gonna stick some of those all the way around. It'll balance it a lot better. So now I got four down. Let's see what that feels like. It's still a little bit rocky, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to double them up, and that way only the felt is going to be touching. These uh, these little kits are nice. I got this at Walmart years ago, and I always find little uses for these little stick-on felt pads. They're great to have. There. So now I doubled up on it, and with the weight, perfect. Stays nice and flat. I have uh, my two washers and a screw that is threaded to this. Now I just need to drill a hole. Trusty DeWalt drill, not sponsored by them. But if you wanna send me some stuff, DeWalt, I will praise you forever. Because I like your stuff anyways. If you're looking for a power tool to invest in, Highly recommend uh, the DeWalt 20 volt system. Once you have a couple batteries, I just buy the uh, cordless tools from Amazon. I actually have a bunch of links in my description about that. I don't know, it's just the feel and uh, working with them maybe, I don't know, once you start working with a DeWalt, it's kind of hard to uh, switch to anything else. So, okay, enough about that. Screw this in. Screw this in and we're done. So, I mean, this week's DIY was pretty simple. It's not, nothing extravagant, but I mean, if you have a home gym, it's always nicer to build something like this. And, you know, it's custom. It's always nicer to have your own piece of gear 
on something store bought, especially if it turns out really nice. And I think that this has turned out really nice. Let me just clean up and I'll show you. They're nice and solid. Nice height, perfect height. I'm gonna start off with a fresh piece of chalk. There we go. Nice block there. There, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, no, this is this is perfect. I'm happy with this. my project for this week if you like the video if you like garage gyms home gyms anything diy related to fitness uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this and we'll see you guys next time